How to speak well and confidently. Good communication is the key to success, whether you're speaking in front of a large audience or trying to get a point across to a new friend. If you want to know how to speak well and confidently, you've got to believe in yourself, speak slowly and carefully, and have strong convictions about what you're saying. If you want to know how to sound intelligent and thoughtful when you speak, then see step 1 to get started. Speaking with confidence. State your opinions with conviction. Before you speak, you have to make sure you really believe in what you say, whether you're saying that Kanye's new album is amazing or that the growing inequality gap in the United States should be the government's number one concern. You don't have to sound arrogant to get your point across and to sound like you really believe in what you're saying instead of turning to other people for validation or approval. It's all in how you say it. If you start a sentence by saying, I think that, or, but maybe, then nothing you say afterwards will sound as forceful as it would have if you just made the statement. Make eye contact. For one thing, it is polite for others. Also, eye contact will help others to listen to your thinking carefully. Find a few friendly faces to focus on so your confidence goes up while you're speaking and that you're communicating your message even more clearly. If you look down at the floor, you won't look confident, and if you're looking around while you talk, people may think that you're distracted or looking for something better to do. Look people in the eyes when you talk to them. You can look away for a moment or two to get your footing, but in general, stay focused on the eyes of the people you're talking to. If you see someone looking confused or concerned when you're speaking, you may even think about whether or not you're being clear enough. However, you shouldn't let one confused person get you off track. If you're talking to a larger group where it's difficult to really make eye contact, focus on looking at just a few people in the audience. Praise yourself every day. This will promote your own confidence, which is important when you speak. With more confidence, people will take your thinking more seriously. You don't have to think you're perfect to truly praise yourself and let yourself feel like the amazing person that you are. Remind yourself of all of the great things you've accomplished and worked so hard for. Look in the mirror and say at least three things about yourself, or make a list of all of the great things that make you who you are. If you can't think of anything you'd want to praise yourself for, then you'll need to work on boosting your confidence. Build your self-esteem by focusing on something you're good at, addressing your flaws, and spending time with the people who really care about you and make you feel good about yourself. Use the shortcut method for better speaking. Chances are that you'll sometimes have to speak in public as part of your role. While this can seem intimidating, the benefits of being able to speak well outweigh any perceived fears. To become a better speaker, remember the following strategies deliberately kept short for ease of memory. Plan appropriately. Practice. Engage with your audience. Pay attention to body language. Think and speak positively. Cope with your nerves. Watch recordings of your speeches. This will help you to improve each time. Know the room. Arrive early, walk around the speaking area and practice using the microphone and any visual aids. Knowing what you're up against and having a sense of where you'll stand, how the crowd will look, and what it will feel like to move around as you speak can definitely ease your nerves. It's far better to know what you're facing than to have a big surprise, and a blow to your confidence, on the day of the big event. If you really want to know the room, you can also show up on a day before your actual speaking engagement to get a sense of what it's like. Visualize success. Visualize yourself giving your speech. Imagine yourself speaking, your voice loud, clear and confident. Visualize the audience clapping, it will boost your confidence. Close your eyes and imagine the most confident and well-spoken version of yourself up in the audience, dazzling them with his words. Or if you're nervous about speaking in a smaller social setting, picture yourself wowing a small group of friends with your words. Picturing the scenario you want to enact can go a long way in making you succeed. This way, when it's time for your big moment, remember what you visualized, how can you get there? Know your audience. Knowing who you're talking to can go a long way in helping you speak with confidence. If you're addressing a large audience, it's important to know where they come from, how old they are, and what their general knowledge is about your subject. This can help you prepare your words accordingly. If you're talking to a handful of people, knowing as much about them as you can, their political beliefs, their senses of humor, can help you say the right thing and to avoid saying the wrong one. One of the reasons people get nervous when speaking is because they don't like the unknown, that's why you have to gather as much information as possible. Have confident body language. Body language can go a long way in making you appear and feel confident. If you want to have confident body language, here's what you should do. Have great posture. Avoid slouching. Don't fidget with your hands. Avoid pacing around too much. Look ahead of you instead of down at the floor. Keep your face and body relaxed. Know your material. Pick a topic you are interested in. Know more about it than you include in your speech or conversation. If you know a lot about your subject, you will feel a lot more confident when you have to speak about it. If you only prepared what you were going to say the night before and are terrified of getting questions you won't know how to answer, then yeah, your confidence will not be at an all-time high. Knowing five times more about your subject than you're going to say will make you feel prepared for the big day. If you will leave some time for questions after your speech, you can practice giving it to a friend in advance, have the friend ask some tough questions to help yourself prepare for what may come. 